The championship battle heading into the Brazilian Grand Prix in Sao Paulo is that Max Verstappen has 362, Lando Norris has 315, a 47-point deficit. Sao Paulo is going to favor the McLaren cars clearly over the Red Bulls. Ferrari is still going to be the top team to beat. But let's assume since you're going to win the championship, you have to win every race. Norris wins a sprint and main. Verstappen finishes runner-up in both. Norris is still at a 39-point deficit. Now you got two weeks off. You go to Las Vegas, a very big, fast track. And I believe this is where we're going to see something crazy happen. But let's assume that Verstappen finishes runner-up and Norris wins. The advantage goes to 32 we're not talking about the fastest lap because the fastest lap may not make it much of a difference at all. Qatar here. This one right here is going to be interesting. God, this could easily put Red Bull into the mix for the win. Uh, but let's assume Max Verstappen finishes runner-up and Norris wins. A 24-point deficit. Heading into Abu Dhabi, Max Verstappen just needs to finish in the points. And, Versta and Lena Norris has to win. So the United Arab Emirates, a big track, quite Quite frankly, one of the most chaotic races of the year uh, because of the passing opportunities. But if Norris wins this race and Verstappen finishes runner-up, he is still at a 17-point deficit and Verstappen wins. But what if? What if here? It's a big what if. What if Verstappen were to DNF in one of the following Grand Prix leading up to Abu Dhabi? He will be and a one-point deficit while Lando Norris wins the 2024 championship if he were to win out and Verstappen not to.